Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle, and today... Oh, I forgot to say. I'm the girl behind Beck's Knitting Factory over on Instagram and here on YouTube. I live in Norway. We are currently getting into spring. And today it's May 6th, I believe. It's Saturday. Uh, I've done a, a, a second video with this look. Um... I'm not sure which one is going up first, but if something looked different on my face, it it is because it is. Uh, this week in school, we had two courses. We had brow lamination and coloring and lash. Um, oh, a lash lift and coloring as well. So my lashes and brows are snatched. I do have mascara on my lashes as well. Um, but yeah, today we're going to talk about the April, oh my god, I have something in my eye, April stash in and stash out, and as I teased in the March one, this one's going to be good. For recap, in March I got in 30s gains of yarn, which is way too many. Uh, but yeah, this time around, it's not that many. I've been good. I've been holding back. I've been um, not shopping so much. And uh, yeah, let's jump right on in. So the first item that I got in during the month of April was my Knitter's Box monthly subscription box. And in this one, this was an Easter um, kind of thing. We got two of these Hillesvog um, Embla Hifa 3. Uh, this is 100% Norwegian wool. Uh, this is 100 gram skein, approximately 210 meters, so it's a DK weight yarn. Um, so yeah, we got two of them. I got the color yellow. Uh, I have the colorful box. They do offer three different boxes, a colorful one, a earth toned one, and a subtle colors, I believe. Um, so yeah, I've got some yellow yarn. We also got some patterns. Um, I'm gonna make the eyeball pillow. Um, so yeah, and we got some, um, uh, what is it called? Markers like the um, yeah you know when what you put in the beginning or up front and stuff like that um, Easter ones of course so that's two skeins in I do have plans for it I do think I'm gonna be knitting them during the summertime I believe is the plan. Then I needed a DK weight skein of yarn for a sweater that I'm gonna knit for my best friend for her birthday. So I went to Knitter's Box, I or like I went to Knitter's Box and Lucky Garn uh, to see if they had some blues. And I screenshotted them and sent pictures over to my best friend asking which ones were her favorite. And she mentioned one from each of them, and the Lucky Garn ones weren't in stock, so I went with the Knitter's Box one, uh, which is this blue, which is the navy. I think they're just called navy. And I also picked up this one um, that time around. This is the fingering weight one, this is a DK weight one, and yeah. It will be a really good combo with the silver gray purpley yarn from Lucky Garn. Um, I'm gonna be making the... 
what is it called? Festive sweater? Festival sweater? Oh, from Petite Knit. Um, so yeah, these will probably be some socks or something in that realm. So that's two more. And then me and my friend and her cousin went to the knitter's market uh, here in Oslo last Saturday in April. And I picked up only two skeins. I was good this time. And I picked up from two handers I don't know much about. Haven't tried much from yet. One I haven't even tried um, their hand ID yarn from yet. So that will be fun. Uh, the first one I have skein caked up already. This is from Mitchell's Yarn. I have a few skeins from her. I'm currently knitting up a pair of DK weight socks from her uh, yarn. But this is Pumpkin Princess. It's more outside of my color story, uh, but it has pinks and it has purples and it just really spoke to me. So I was like, it's a nice autumn colorway, so it will be a nice pair of autumn socks. Uh, not sure which pattern I'm gonna use for it yet, uh, but if you have any ideas, then please let me know. I'm all up for trying new sock patterns. Um, so yeah. This is ready to go for when I need another pair of sock on the needles. Right now I do have four or five. I need to finish some of them up. Then the second uh, yarn dyer I picked up from was Mrs. Fox Yarn. And this, oh, this is the Merino sock base. This is a 8020 superwash nylon, 100 grams, 365 meters, um, and the colorway is party. And it's just so fun. Like we have my colorway up here and with the green, but oranges, yellows, blues aren't really my types of colors, but I do think these will look really fun in a pair of socks. And these I do think I'm just gonna do you have a vanilla sock out of? I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I I want to knit these socks so bad. But that's all of the yarn I purchased and got into my stash during the month of April. Six gains, you guys. It's been a good month. Then, stash out. Holy guacamole. I have finished up two big projects. I finished up a cardigan and I finished up a sweater and I finished up a balaclava. Uh, so yeah. <sighs> Let's start with the balaclava. This is the caddy hoodie uh, from a Norwegian designer. Um, I don't remember the name of her. I think her name is Tina. Not sure. Uh, but this is knitted up in Snuggles, which is Knitter's Box own uh, brand of yarn, which is a alpaca merino blend. It's super nice. It's super fluffy. It's super soft. It's just so nice and it's warm and the balaclava is awesome. Not as fun to knit up, but yeah. But I did use three and a half skeins here in this one alone, um, or balls, uh, because the Snuggles yarn are 50 gram balls. So yeah, and I used about 171 grams um, out of this colorway. I do have uh the bright pink one as well which i'm gonna make a scarf out of the sofia shawl to be exact then we have the monday sweater from petite knit which i also finished in april and it's also a lilac you can probably tell the colorways i usually go for 
um, just by this video alone, really. Uh, but I used up three skeins of the fingering weight merino from Lily Hilo, which is a Norwegian hand dyer, uh, yarn dyer. Oh my god. And then I used up four balls of the mohair. So for this sweater, I used up seven skeins of yarn alone, which is crazy, which is more than I brought in. So we're in the negatives. We're going down again. Uh, but yeah, really, really enjoyed this one. Um, it's such a good sweater. It's just nice and light and fluffy and you're still warm in this one, which is really nice. And then, oh, the final one is my cardigan, the Novice cardigan, uh, which I do need to do some alterations to, but yeah, I did use up five skeins of fat mohair for this one. Um, yeah really really good month for my uh, yarn stash i hope i can be really good next month as well because right now it's not looking too good <sighs> oh. but yeah so in total, I used up 15 and a half skein, skeins of yarn in the month of April, leaving me with a difference of negative nine and a half skeins, which is awesome. Really, really good. So we're going down. So the numbers from April 1st, I had 290 and a half skeins. April 30th, I have 281. So that's really good. I know it will take a lot uh, to go down in the negatives next or this month as well, the month of May, because we're now in May. Um, so yeah. Right now, I'm not sure that's gonna be doable because I finally got my Easter package from uh, through the through the Water Beer and Co. It was sent to my old address, and it didn't get resent to the correct address. I don't know why, um, but yeah. Uh, but my boyfriend had to go there anyways to get the bikes, so he picked it up at the same time as well. And so that's like quite a good few skeins. And then I did get the <sighs> knitter's box, subscription box, of course. And then I have purchased two skeins as well. So we're going into the positive again, but I'm hoping I'm not going back to over 290. I just need to finish up some socks and then we will be under 290. Um, I would love to get down to 280, but that means, let's see, two. Four, ten, and the box. I don't remember if it's two or three balls of yarn in there. So it's either it's either ten, twelve, or thirteen skeins coming in next month or in May. And then I do need to knit some stuff up. I've been knitting a lot on my blankets, which is good because at least the cozy memory blanket is is in much need of love um, because I haven't knitted on it for quite some while and I've 
accumulated so many scraps I just need to knit them up so yeah and I do have at least four pairs of socks on the needles or five so I do just need to get into knitting up the socks so yeah that is how everything is going I'm down to 281 and hopefully we're not going over 290 next month. Um, yeah, that wouldn't be good. Because we started the year with 222 and a half and now we're up to... We're basically up 60s games by the end of April, which is not good. But I do have a lot of sweaters and bigger things coming. So yeah, and maybe I can finish up a blanket this year. That would be awesome because the one blanket I'm working on I'm using 24 mini skeins. That would be awesome to get out. And I'm on color six. So yeah, that would be awesome. But that is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I will see you again in my next video. Bye.